coming up next. Situation that happened in texting and you just like turned off immediately from the guy. Dick pic. Oh, okay. <laughs> that was quick. That was quick. <laughs> they say you only have to ask a fisherman how to catch fish. But today I'm gonna ask the fish anyways, AKA my friends. I asked you guys on Instagram, what do you want me to ask the ladies? And the answer was too obvious. By the way, you should follow me on Instagram. Just saying, I'll be doing a lot of social experiments like this in the future. Let's go. Hello, ladies. Hi. Hi. Are you guys ready? Yes. yes. Let's go. So, introduce yourself first. My name is Alessia. I'm a musician, I'm a pianist and I'm a DJ. My name is Natalie, I'm in business development. My name is Christina and I help to launch new restaurants. So, my name is Anu Kubo, I am a software developer and content creator on I had my to own get YouTube multiple channel. ladies with multiple professions just to see multiple perspectives. Now we're only left with the popular question. Like, how should a guy ask you out the perfect way? What do you expect? Text. Yeah. Oh, I thought you were gonna go in real life. Okay, in text. Okay, we're going there. Let's go, let's go. Okay, we'll do text in real life, right? Okay. I would text. So I think in text, you know, definitely do not do something like, hey. Okay, that's or, a bad one. What oh, are you yeah. doing? And nothing else. And so simple, like, let's go out. But before that, need to have some conversation because I need to understand which kind of guy I met, like, in the, in the message. Like, uh -huh. we were. Mm, actually, the basics I like to be confident. Um, funny. Well, definitely confident. Confident is, of course, very attractive. So that, yeah, just just uh, invite me somewhere. It's okay because like uh, life conversation is more important than texting. And texting yeah, and the message course. you cannot understand which kind of person you met. Do you prefer like uh, he takes his time, like two weeks texting, or just get to it? No, just get to it. Like, what's okay. the point of waiting around, right? Just text me for a couple of days. I think it would be better idea just to ask. Couple of days, not couple of weeks. Don't take too no, much time. No, no, no. Okay. Okay. Not, uh, not a couple of weeks, I think it's too much. Is definitely that he makes kind of frame around the date. So yeah. let's say he asked me Friday, Saturday, are you free? Like uh, proposing the time. It seems like he has a plan. Yes. It's not random. Okay. Yeah. It's not random. Ask you, like, give you too much questions or like, do you like something? Should we go somewhere? You don't like that? I don't like for sure. Yeah. Yet. Confidence, I think so. If you invite me to somewhere, you need to already know uh, which kind of like places. So he picks everything. Like, what do guys do? Wrong. I'm in the club, take okay. a taxi and come. Let's meet. This is the okay, worst that's idea. The worst thing ever. Okay. Ask me uh, too much questions. Where do you want to go? What do you want to eat? Question pops up. It's like, so where shall we go? Oh, that's a bad one. Okay. But I prefer the question to be framed like, so do you want Asian or European? Yeah. Or do you want to like have adventure or this? Uh, the hesitation about the asking so, like, to get he out. So just like he's talking too much, yeah, without getting to the point. Yeah. So I definitely think the kind of very low effort approach okay. is a massive turn off. Okay. So like the kind of simple hello, hey, and expecting the other person to kind of come up with a conversation oh, yeah. isn't very fair, especially when you're approaching them. Okay. What about approaching in real life? What do you like? What do we do wrong and how should we make it better? You know, not having too much of an ego and being very approachable are okay. all things that someone should have when okay. approaching anyone new, really. Okay, so like be confident and smile more, be approachable. Smile, stand straight, oh, posture yeah. is very important. Okay. You know, confidence, you want okay. to do confidence. It's Don't be a creep. Don't that's, be a creep. Uh, yeah, that's the base. Yeah. <laughs> I uh, like to see the confidence in guys, nice smell as well and okay. nice So style. nice like physical shape, confident and like smell good. <laughs> Easy. The bad way is like uh, to be too much confident and to behave. Yeah. Hi, how are you? You know, like like this. I think this is not the best way, you know, it should be more intelligent, you know. Too pushy. The girl like lets you know that like she she doesn't really want to do anything with you. Maybe she, she's not in the mood, maybe she has a boyfriend, like you never know, right? It's not the moment for you to, to turn on that beast in you and try to like, you know, like... Uh, this is the wrong time to be persistent. No, don't yeah, be persistent yeah, now, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the guys like think they have like, to have a magic line, a magic approach, but like, none of that is right. What do you, what do you say about that? Do they have to have like a magic Pick no. up line or something? Well, the thing is everyone's so different, right? So having the ability to read someone oh, and yeah. figure out who they are and kind of gauge that either from, of course, like we're all human, maybe judging them on first appearance. Okay. Uh, but I think maybe by starting off a bit softer and not going straight in with that like magical one liner okay. and gauging someone who they are. Because maybe if they're really shy, then saying something very strong okay. might scare them I off. I, was, I always like ask for the name. Asking for a name is a great place to start, yes. They, I don't 
don't have to have any magic. So it's that easy. If you like, if she likes you and she gives you the signal, I would say, yeah. just go introduce yourself and just say, what's your name? So, as expected, the answers was all over the place. Girls want a lot, expect too much, but at least we got some common grounds. Let's recap. All of them agreed on you have to be confident, sharp, good looking, at least well dressed, taking care of yourself, not necessarily handsome. You only see that in movies. In real life, confidence wins. And another one was like, you don't need any magic lines, magic approaches, none of that. You just don't need to be a creep and just be yourself. Go say hi and ask a girl her name name and carry on the no goes was like being a creep staring too much talking too much over text being unsure giving the girl too much choice girls don't want to be asked they want to be led so i hope this experiment got you some value if it did please drop me a like subscribe to the channel i'm trying to grow this baby and remember mikawi is always rooting for you i'll see you in the next one i wake up flex i'm down that check no drip this what? tell him run it up no sleep, no rest. Might crash, might wreck. But first, I stretch and run it off.